guys. Am I filming? Yes, I am. Okay. So, I did a video. The, here's my story, okay? I did a video the other day. It was horrible. I don't know why. I guess I just am not used to being on camera that much anymore. And actually, the video really wasn't horrible. I just didn't like it, and I don't even know why. So, I didn't put it up. But so I'm going to talk about... This was not planned. I'm gonna talk about what I what I said in that video. Let me roll the windows up. Such a gloomy day. Ugh. This was not planned. Here's what just happened to me. I went to Trader, no. I was going to Trader Joe's and I didn't have my wallet. And about three blocks before I got to Trader Joe's, which I'm glad it happened there and not after I had my stuff in line, I realized I didn't have my wallet with me. I never do that. Um, but anyway, that's one reason I keep a little bit of cash in the car because what if I'd gotten over there and I would have been on empty, you know. Um, not much cash, so don't get any ideas if you live near me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so, uh, turn around, go back, get my wallet, and I said, my God, now I'm going to have all the way. And traffic's bad for some reason, and it's 1.15 during the day, so I had no idea. Like, is everybody just in their car because it's lunchtime? Um... And it was going really slow up here. So I said, perfect time to do a car vlog. I haven't done one in a while. And I didn't put that video up the other day. So let's hope this one turns out good. I uh, talked about a company I had a lot of trouble with. Uh, just, I'm just going to kind of brief it. I think that's one thing. I talked about it a little bit too long on my video. And I wasn't happy about that. It's opentip.com. Never heard of them before. I was looking for a particular perfume. And they had it at the best the best I could find free shipping and so and it's a company and so I ordered it from them and that they sent me a different perfume and then they were really 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 crappy about it now when I tell you that it was a different perfume there was there's no doubt in my mind like one perfume has one name and this one has three names the bottle's different it's different color everything so you know they wanted a picture which was fine i understand that but all i have to do is go in the department store and take a picture you know that doesn't really prove anything but so anyway they have me send a picture then they you know two days later they email me they're gonna check with their warehouse you know two days later i hadn't heard anything and i email them two days later they email me back uh, they're checking checking with shipping It just this went on for three and a half weeks okay so finally what I had to end up doing is they emailed me a shipping label they acted like they were trying to get me to keep the perfume I didn't like the perfume it stunk and the perfume that I ordered was not a blind buy it was a reorder and so um that, I don't know if they thought I was going to forget about it or what but anyway they ended up mailing emailing me a return label that I had to go somewhere and get printed out because I don't have a printer and I don't need one and <laughs> normally and then I had to go because the post office is open the same hours I work I had to go make a trip to the post office stood in line for forever and make a trip back way out of my way because these people are idiots opentip.com if there's any corrections to be made of that or if I've made any mistakes saying that but I have I still have their emails back and forth when I tell you there was 20 emails over a period of three and a half weeks like these people did not want me to return this and they um, it was crazy it was really crazy and they treated me like a suspect right okay so but just be aware of that I've never heard of them before I don't know what the deal is but just put that in your list of people not to order from. Okay, so what I did get this week, um, and I, in my video I did, I read the notes, but you guys can go on for granted. Go smell it yourself if you go in the department store because they're going to be everywhere. I bought, I had gotten a sample about a month ago that they tossed in my bag, the new Tory Burch Belle Azure, or Belle Azure, ever how that's pronounced. It's wonderful. It's a lot like one of the Tom Ford Aquas in the Private Blend Blue Bottles, not Portofino. That one's too Neroli. Um, I don't, there's, there was three. I think there might be six now, but it's very aquatic, very tangerine-ish, very light as well. But it does have a long-lasting 
good lasting power. It's great. You just have to try it. If you go, it's in the blue bottle. I have the original toy birch and thank goodness I got that one in the small one. I don't just like it. I just don't reach for it and wear it. This one's awesome. I got the big bottle. It comes in two sizes. And the other one I got, which a lot of you have probably already smelled this one. It's the new Gucci Guilty Absolute in the burgundy bottle. And that one gets really, really good reviews on Fragranica. And, well, you know, everybody's got their own opinion. Man, woman, you know, 12 years old, 70 years old. It depends on what you feel like you like to smell. This one is warmer, spicier, very light though. So if you are somebody that, I'm not talking about opium, it's not opium. The first thing I told the woman, the sales associate there, is I said, this reminds me, oh gosh, sorry, I just got a text. This reminds me of Tom Ford Noir de Noir. And then I said, well, let me just put it this way. It does not smell like Noir de Noir. It is going towards that family. And then when I looked at the notes when I got home, I realized why. I think, if I'm not mistaken, both are patchouli, which the patchouli is not heavy. It's just enough to give it that good spice. Both are rose. Um, both are sweet, but with Noir de Noir, I believe, I don't think they have it listed on Fragranica as a note, but a lot of people will describe that as a boozy chocolate rose, um, which is a fair description, but I believe that the absolute Gucci Guilty is, um, is also sweet, but it's, there's no chocolate in that one, so there's just maybe a vanilla boozy patchouli rose that's sweeter. So if you like Noir de Noir, but you don't like the price tag, because nobody does, um, what are they, $3.25 for the small bottle? Because that's a private blend. I can't remember. That might not be right. So, um, and now I'm telling you, Noir de Noir is a beast compared to this Absolute. Now, a lot of people were saying about the Absolute it was light, and some people were saying it was very heavy. On me, it's light. It is very light, but it does last, and you can catch, you know, sniffs of it during the day. I want to make sure I was still going. I have not. Okay. Um, and so those are really good. So if anybody likes a fresh, springy, citrusy tangerine, that Bella Zora is good. And if you like the warm, spicy, almost a little bit of incensey, but not in the smoky, incensey way. And you want to have tobacco in it, which I like. Um, then you will like those two. So just a suggestion. And I have to tell you about something that I blind bought. And people on YouTube make me buy things. <laughs> I know a lot of you have said that about me. Um, but I saw a video and I was like, well, okay, let me reach a little deeper into this because I have nowhere that I can smell this. Nowhere that I know of sells uh, Mancera's. It's a house kind of affiliated with um, Montal, like Chocolate Greedy and Rose's Musk. Um, very good house. Mancera Velvet Vanilla. If anybody has that, let me know your opinion or if you've smelled it and you remember what it smelled like, let me know your opinion. I saw a video which led me to about five more videos which led me to Fragranica that night and um, the reviews for this one are amazing. And I found a really good, um, this man, I feel so bad when these people that are holding these signs walk beside of my car. Um, so you might see them. No, you won't see them either because you can't see out of my side. This perfume gets the most, the best reviews I've ever seen one perfume get without having any bad ones on there. I don't think it was any bad ones. There wasn't one I looked, but not that I remember seeing. And I believe I read them all. Um... There's a few people on there that haven't smelled it yet. I don't know why people review a perfume when they haven't smelled it yet. I, I don't understand that. Um, but this one is described as not so much vanilla like you would think, but a tuberose, a very sweet tuberose, a bubblegummy tuberose. And I happen to love that. I like tuberose anyway, and I have some sharp tuberoses, but I think I know what they're talking about when they talk about the sweet 
tuberoses um, because or bubble gummy type tuberoses because I uh, I have the oh shoot what is it La Artisan I'm gonna butcher this I'm in um, Trader Joe's parking lot and you have to be careful because you almost need a can opener to get in and out of here uh, I think it's La Artisan L apostrophe Artisan perfumers wow and it's AUX Papillons. Oh, I can't remember, but it kind of, I kind of think that's what it's going to remind me of. It could be way off, but I love that one. I I'm on my second bottle of that one. As a matter of fact, I've got to get in here better. Um, so I found a good deal with a person on eBay, 100% positive feedback, sealed, brand new, sealed in a box. I just don't. I might pull up because right here there's a little bit more room between these two cars. Um, okay, so I might, maybe I won't get hit. I was gonna get hit back there, and both sides of my car were on both of their driver doors, so somebody would pop my car. I'm telling you, it's awful right here. This is the worst parking lot in Wilmington, um, and it's hard to if you don't know how to do it, it's hard to get in and out of. But I know how to do it. You have to make all right turns, um, or you're gonna have an issue. But I know how to do it, so. Um, but yeah, so that one I blind bought. So if anybody knows anything about that one, um, let me know your thoughts on it. And also, um, when I get it, I doubt I get it today. Um, and I will not, well, anyway, uh, when I get it, I'll do a review on it. And I might wear it for a couple days because the last one that I bought, not blind by, but well, yeah, it was a blind by too. The Coco Mademoiselle uh, EDP Intense was a blind by, but I changed my mind about that too because I had not had time to. I actually, when I did the first video about that one, I had worn it a couple times, but I did over a period of about a week change my mind about it a little bit for some reason, and it you know, and it could have something to do with the allergies, but I totally smell my perfumes. I just, um, and I don't think anything is off with that. I think sometimes just your perception can be different once you get your nose on it really good. And with that one, it is different. With the, uh, I'm all over the place. With the uh, Coco Mademoiselle EDP Intense, if you spray a little and you smell it up close, or if you spray a lot and you smell it from a distance, there's a big difference in that perfume. A lot of perfumes aren't like that. And another thing with the Gucci Guilty Absolute, they said it remains the same from beginning to end, and I agree with that. I do agree with that. Um, I think with the Bella Zor, you get more of the tangerine maybe in the beginning. I'm not really sure. It doesn't change much on me. Um, make sure I got my rear end out of the way here. So, yeah, I'll do a review on the Mansara Velvet Vanilla when I get it and let you guys know if I messed up or not. But look around because because it's not a cheap perfume. It's not one of the most expensive ones in the world, but I did get a pretty good deal. Now, I wanted to make sure I didn't get too good of a deal. If you find a perfume that I don't, I'm just throwing this out there because I don't know how much it normally costs. I don't remember. If you found a perfume that's normally $200 and it's on eBay for $20, beware, okay? Because there are machines that can fix your um, cellophane, they're, you know, to look like it came from the factory. And there's ways to fill these bottles, all of them. No matter what kind of bottle it is, they can all be refilled. I this woman in front of me has her hair, um, well, you can tell, I mean, she's probably 60. Her hair is gray and she's got it kind of stacked and she probably uses the purple shampoo I know but through here was the the lighter gray and then right here was almost it wasn't purple but it was almost um, a purple silver beautiful darker a little bit a little bit darker but it wasn't purple and you could tell it wasn't just purple shampoo doing that because purple shampoo is it going to um give you an ombre effect <laughs> i don't think i haven't figured out how believe it or not i use purple shampoo and look at my hair um 
this is the second day messed up wig anyway so um yeah i guess that's it i think that's all i made in that video that i just didn't like i just went on and on about that stupid um ridiculous company that was very hard to deal with you know oh and they were not able to find they that in other words they were this is what ended up making me so mad not that they were hard to deal with and and about you know the return and everything but they actually did not carry the perfume that they advertised and i even went back on my order confirmation and you could see clearly the name and clearly the bottle i mean they're just a bunch of idiots so just wanted to let you guys know about that actually didn't take me long to get here it took me longer when i got over here the first time without my wallet so okay you guys have a great week and i will talk to you soon bye